Hello, it's the fire department. I know, I'm but here. you're not talking. We're already on the way. Give me your... Police still don't know the motive behind this whether it was an attempted robbery or something else. Detectives have arrested five people in connection with of rapper Pop Smoke. Pop Smoke was one of the hottest rappers in the game leading up to his passing on February 19th, 2020. However, the truth behind his passing has always been a mystery until today, as the unknown secrets have finally been revealed by the suspects that were involved in the crime. It all begins on February 17th, 2020. Only 48 hours before his passing, Pop had been hanging out around New York rapper Fabio Foreign before flying back to Los Angeles. I woke up. Right. I guess like it had happened overnight. And it's crazy because I was just with him the night before. He flew out that night, went to LA, and then it happened. So I'm like, automatically, I'm like, it's fake. Needing a place to stay for the weekend, Pop Smoke would rent out an Airbnb in Beverly Hills. The following morning on February 18th, Pop would share a photo to his Instagram with a view from the mansion and even tagged the Beverly Hills. At this moment in Pop Smoke's music career, he was on the uptrend as well as learning and getting used to all of the newfound fame. He was unaware that people were watching his every single move, especially on social media, which is why with every single post that Pop would make on social media, the men that took his life got closer to tracking him down. First was his post in the mansion, they knew that he was in Beverly Hills. Pop continued sharing his day online every single hour. From having his barber even come over to give him a fresh haircut, he would even post this by the pool in the afternoon. However, his next post was when the hitters really decided to go after him, as Pop Smoke was fitted in designer clothing, and the next slide even featured him and his longtime best friend, Mike D. He was holding stacks of cash right outside of the mansion, further attracting Pop Smoke's attackers that much more. An hour later, Mike D posted these photos showing the rich life that they have been living. They then got caught up in flexing their wealth online as this post not only revealed the front of the house, but it also included three digits of the home's address. All Pop Smoke's hitters now needed to figure out what was the first digit, and then they would know his exact location. For some reason, Pop Smoke and his team were terrible at hiding his location on this day, as it would only get worse later on in the night. According to reports, Pop Smoke spent the evening out shopping. Then when he returned home, Pop would relax at the crib and even shared a photo of his nighttime view. This was timestamped to be around 10 p.m., only six hours before Pop would sadly lose his life. 30 minutes later, Pop Smoke received a gift and even posted it onto his Facebook. Thanking designer Mike Amiri for sending some designer clothing, he was extremely excited about this gift that he didn't even realize he just showed the entire world his exact address as it was printed on the tags of the gifts in the video. Wait, Mike and Mary, Mike and Mary, <laughs> Billy Jean, Billy Jean. Good looks, Mike and Mary. Gifts. The robbers didn't even have to do any digging into where Pop Smoke even was, as the place that he was staying at was on the internet for anyone to view as it was on Airbnb. According to reports, one of Pop Smoke's managers then asked him to actually delete the post after he noticed several hours later. Before anything happened, Pop then left the house again. He headed over to East West Recording Studios, which is only a few miles away. While he was gone, reports say a black BMW drove past the mansion and even parked just down the street. Security cameras captured the passenger of the BMW sneaking towards the back of the mansion. As two minutes later, the man then returned to his vehicle and they quickly sped away. Pop was finally finishing up at the recording studio. Him and Mike D, as well as a woman named Amelia Rose, all three hopped into a Range Rover and started driving back to the Airbnb. Rose and Pop were going to the master bedroom as while Mike D was going down the hall to a separate bedroom. After being home for a few hours, hours, a sedan then pulls up to the house around 4 a.m. With the headlights off, four shadows would emerge from the vehicle and go down the side of the mansion. As they snook into the backyard, Pop Smoke is in his bathroom taking a shower while Rose is laying in bed. All of a sudden, the four men burst into the bedroom, all four wearing ski masks and telling the lady to be quiet. Pointing firearms in her direction, the other three men quickly rushed into the bathroom after Pop. Rose told detectives she would hear the 
sounds of a struggle between them before hearing Pop Smoke scream and then a loud popping sound. This is when Pop Smoke would sadly fall to the ground. The two intruders continued going after him as Pop Smoke quickly realized his life was in jeopardy. He tried getting up and running away downstairs, but unfortunately, Rose would state she heard two more loud pop noises and it went off. As the robbers would quickly flee the scene, grabbing anything they can, she would then quickly run down the stairs to find Pop Smoke sitting at the bottom and at the same time, Mike D was awoken by the sound of the first firearm noise. He was hiding in his bedroom closet, waiting for all of the noise and commotion to calm down before exiting. He would quickly look and decide Pop Smoke's room, however he would just find the two at the bottom of the staircase as he would then call 911. Hello? PD, what are your numbers? Hello, yes, the fire department. I know, I'm but here. you're not talking. We're already on their way. Give me your... Are you in a safe place, sir? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Unknown, okay. They're on their way. Medics arrived on the scene and then rushed to take Pop Smoke to the medical center, but sadly, he didn't make it. 4.55 this morning, multiple LAPD Hollywood units responded to a call at... Hercules Drive in the Hollywood Hills was being broken into by multiple suspects and that one of them was with a When officers arrived there, they discovered a inside the house and transported that to Cedar sinai Hospital where he was pronounced Detectives began investigating to find who was responsible. Both the BMW and Infinity were both noticed by detectives as through DMV records, they would find that both cars are registered to a 19 year old named Corey Walker. With Corey being a person of interest, a judge issued a warrant giving detectives access to his Google account. They would find a very interesting search history as his account revealed his search of the house's address and even visited the LAPD's website only two hours before the crime as he looked up the address of the real estate on the website Zillow. This gave him, as well as his team, photos to see what the inside of the house looked like as his next search would be at 5.15 a.m., which is only 20 minutes after Mike D called 911, where he searched, and I quote, Rolex Oyster Datejust, which is the exact watch they stole from Pop Smoke in the bathroom. The value of the watch they got after robbing and doing this to Pop Smoke, they sold for around $3,000 these four teens ruined their entire lives just to split for $500 to $750 each. Despite having a very suspicious online record, law enforcement didn't have enough hard proof yet. It wasn't until a 15-year-old was then arrested on unrelated crimes that the case would then break wide open. Detectives had him on a person of interest list, so when they brought him into jail, they rigged his entire cell with recording devices where he would end up confessing to his cellmate that he was involved in the robbery of Pop Smoke and that he was actually the one that used the firearm. The driver was then also arrested not too longer for other charges, he too would also confess to his cellmate and told the exact same story as the 15 year old. According to both of them, they actually had no intention of doing this to Pop Smoke. All they wanted was his jewelry and designer clothing, but when Pop Smoke wouldn't back down in the bathroom, they panicked and then did the act. Corey Walker was the 19 year old who stayed in the car during the robbery, while 18 year old Keandre Rogers led to the charge into the house. They were both charged with the passing of Pop Smoke and they are continuing to await their trial. However, the other two aged 17 and 15 at the time of the crime, both pleaded guilty to being involved. One of the four men accused of Brooklyn rapper Pop Smoke just pled guilty. The 20 year old man was 17 at the time of the they aren't even named since they weren't 18 at the time of the crime. However, the 17 year old is now 20. He is sentenced to four years and two months inside of a detention facility. Meanwhile, the 15 year old, who was the man that did the act, is expected to be held in a state juvenile facility until he turns the age 25. Unfortunately, the two younger ones won't have to spend their lives behind bars for what they did. Both Corey Walker and Keandre Rogers will face up to life inside a prison for their charges, but overall, this should be a life lesson to many young rappers in the game to not post every single thing about your life on social media, especially your whereabouts.